today is two weeks after my surgery and the first day of my soft food diet and my husband is making me some scrambled eggs for breakfast so I will show you what it looks like and how much I'm able to get down. Welcome back to Dwindling DS Diva. My name is Amber, and today we're gonna talk about my two week mark. So my highest weight was 341.7. My starting weight of surgery was 326.1. My current weight as of two weeks is 305.1 for a total weight loss of 36.6 pounds. So that's 19.2 pounds since surgery. I think that my weight loss is going really well. I'm not sure if that is about average or what, but it seems like a good amount of weight to me. I am really excited to see what next week brings. Soft food has been going well. Um, it kind of seems like the more bland things are, the easier it is. I can't eat very much at a time. And my doctor's office did call from BMI. And they told me that I need to double what I'm getting for my calories and for my protein. So I have been averaging about four to 500 calories a day and about 40 to 50 grams of protein and they want me to get up to 80 to 90 grams of protein and about 80 to or I'm sorry 800 to 900 calories and I did do it two of the days this week and it was really hard I felt like I was eating pretty much all day long which means that it's more difficult to get the fluids in as well so it really is a struggle um I haven't been taking any insulin for about four days now which is really amazing because I was taking a lot of insulin to control my diabetes and now it just seems to be doing its own thing I'm not seeming to have any trouble keeping my sugars in line I did, um, after I went shopping from my soft food shopping haul, I had some watermelon and my sugars went up to 180, but then they just turned. It went right back down again. So that was pretty amazing to see. I'm currently at 88 right now, which is kind of concerning because that's a little low because I have eight already today. So I don't know. I might have to stop taking my glipside pills as well seeing how next few days go first but that's amazing that is just incredible I can't believe it um kind of waiting for it to like turn around be like nah just kidding <laughs> you know um but things have been going really well um my left side incision um, did get a little bit of an infection in it. I'll insert a photo. So if you're squeamish, turn away for a moment. Um, I brushed my hand against my side and it felt wet. And I put my hand right above the incision and kind of pulled it up and pushed a little bit so that it would angle the incision more at me so that I could see it. And I felt something pop and that came out. and. I knew that was kind of concerning, so I reached out to BMI, and they prescribed me some antibiotics. Um, so, pictures off the screen if you were looking away. Um, I feel like 
it's necessary to show these things because this is the reality of what you could end up going through. And, you know, hopefully if you are squeamish, it's not as bad when it's you because, like I said, it is the reality of what could happen. And to be perfectly honest, my healing process has been really, really good. And I know there's a lot worse things that could happen. So bear all these things in mind if this is something that you plan on doing. Um, my appointment the other day also included looking at the incisions and things and they said that it actually looks really good they just prescribed me the antibiotics just to be safe and you know that's great that's important to make sure you cover all your bases so it's looking really good the one that was bleeding the first week is no longer bleeding it's completely sealed up um i did get my period this week when I started the Eloquist blood thinner and it's been rough. <laughs> um, my period has always been very, very painful and very, very heavy to begin with. Um, since I've weighed so much, my periods have not been regular. My last period was in August and I hadn't had a period before that for six months. So I actually ended up going to the hospital because of the blood loss and the pain. And they put me on morphine and took all my labs to make sure that I wasn't losing too much blood. And so I have to be honest, I was kind of afraid that I was going to get my period after surgery. And I did. And with the blood thinners, you can imagine that that is just a wild ride. Um... I only took about half of my pain pills after surgery, so I did have those to fall back on throughout my period because my cramps with my period are actually worse than how I felt after surgery. Um, my period is very intense. I need to go see an OBGYN. I think I have what's called um, menorrhagia, which is like hemophilia during that time of the month and um, I don't think that the amount of pain that I go through is right so I need to have an OBGYN check me out and see what's going on there because losing weight um, makes it easier to get pregnant and that means that it helps your period be regular and I have to be honest that is the one thing about losing weight that scares me to death is my period. Um, it's been bad ever since I was a teenager, but you never get used to it. You really don't. But that's probably why I have such an incredibly high pain tolerance. So there's that. Um, still on Eloquist. I will be on that for a while yet to come. And um, really excited to see how much weight I lose this week. I'm not sure if I'll lose any weight because of my period. I'm just curious to see how that plays out with my weight loss this week. I have about two more weeks left on time off before I have to go back to work. And then my last day is the 20th. So I go back to work the 23rd and the 24th. And then I have my holiday for Thanksgiving and I'll be off that whole week. So. It's kind of like I get to dip my toes back into going back to work before I have to really go back to work. And then I do also have a Christmas holiday coming on up. So um, for Christmas, I have about two weeks, a little over a week off that I have as well. So I kind of get to ease slowly back into work. Um, so that's nice. I'm going to be really glad that I don't have to just throw myself back in there. I also found out that we are continuing our work from home projects right now. So I will be continuing to work from my house, which is really nice. Um, no timeline so far of when I will actually be going back to the office. So. 
I honestly wouldn't mind if I got to work from home forever. <laughs> I like working from home. Who needs interaction anyway, right? <laughs> I've been really good and I'm feeling a lot better. I'm not sleeping as much anymore. Although sometimes I still kind of want to. Uh, I will keep you all posted on how things are going and I'll get my three-week update soon and I'll talk to you then. Bye.